Hey everyone, what about here, and welcome to Across the Obelisk. It's a deck, it's a roguelike deck builder. Interesting fact, it's got multiplayer. Create a multiplayer game, join a multi- Okay, so it doesn't look like there's anything I can do with that. I'm curious how that goes. So team selection, drag characters that you want to use in the game. Some attacks can only target front, back, or middle units. So you got front, back, and other things. Well, I mean, I don't think I have much of a choice here, so we're just going to roll with these characters. Oh, we unlock more later, but I'm assuming not in the demo. Let's get rolling. Oh, what happened, you ask? It was in, during the princess's 16th birthday. Everyone was in the courtyard anxiously waiting for her. She was going to be inducted into the Wizard Academy, an honor reserved for those who show aptitude. She really had a gift. Suddenly an explosion emerged from the princess's chamber, followed by a burst of energy that swept through the kingdom of Salentia. Or Sinentia. The royal guards explored every corner of the castle, but found no sign of her or Lord Hanshek, the court magician and advisor to the king. The king sent soldiers throughout the kingdom, but none of them returned. The last thing he heard was that her trail was lost deep in the old forest, near the ancient obelisk, that had been dormant for centuries until now. Desperate, the king proclaimed a royal decree and announced that he would reward anyone who brought the princess home safely. The news quickly spread throughout the kingdom, and many groups of, of adventurers prepared to venture into the forest and investigate the obelisk to find the princess. This is the story of one of those groups. Oh, dang! Uh, let's see. Hi, thank you, Singacrafta Ace Live, for the five gifted subs, and thank you, Asmakiel, for the same. Thank you so much. What am I looking at? This is a lot. Okay, so I start here. We've got town. Okay. I've also got a very itchy ear. So, Suspicious Hatch, Mountain Ridges, River Bank, I know about none of this stuff. So, here's the real question. Can I... I can kind of go up, then down... and around. I'm going to try and just maximize how far I go. Town actions. You can craft new cards for your decks, upgrade any card that you have, you have, and buy equipment for your heroes. Also be able to claim rewards from previous games. Oh, interesting. Remove cards from your decks, craft cards, alter your cards, transform them into more powerful versions, pay gold to get a divination round, or buy equipment. Let's take a look at equipment. So, resistance, max HP, resistance, healing done, damage, combat, and... Ooh. Combat end, all heroes recover 2 HP. That might be worth it. What about this one? So each character has different a different deck. Oh. So each card can have a different upgrade. I have wait, every card has different upgrades that are more powerful than the basic version. You make an offer with shards in order to upgrade a card. Okay. Draw gain energy, piercing howl, barricade, damage. I feel like rend might be one. Oh, this is how this works. Okay. So we can take a look at what everything does. So cheap or more damage. So vanishes, gain energy, and damage and healing done, two per charge, or make make it so I keep it around. Unfortunately, it gets really expensive. I think I might just go for rend, maybe. Let's take a look at some of the other cards. Uh, let's see. Damage and heal done per bless. Heal. Flash. Cool. What about her? Transmission. Grant energy per charge at the start of turn. Okay. Elemental ward. Charge battery. There's a lot to take in here. I think I'm going to go for Magnus. We're just going to upgrade Rend. So it does hella bleed. And... We'll roll with this. Okay, so I wanted to pay gold. Let's buy the dirty bandages. And just leave it on him. Alright, let's go. Let's see, would multiplayer of this be like For the King, where every person controls one character in deck? I'm pretty sure that's the case, yeah. Obviously, we have to get into the combat to really see. Energy management and cards. You can cast cards until you run out of energy. When you pass the turn, energy that hasn't been used will be accumulated for the next turn of this hero. This box shows the available targets. If there are multiple targets for a card, you'll have to select which one will be affected. But if there's only one, releasing the card will automatically select it. End turn. Okay, so 
we have an initiative order. Yeah, so this very much would be a cross between Slay the Spire and For the King. Which I'm honestly actually pretty down... Down with? Okay. So I don't know what they're doing. Let's just block and hit the front guy. I don't know how much damage these dudes are going to do, but that's okay. Speed and character order. All characters have a speed value that determines who moves first. In the case of a tie, closest here to uh, to the center... Was that center? I don't know. Oh yeah, closest to the center goes first. So this would be the center. So aim shot, adrenaline. Gain energy now, so lose energy for the next round. Damage, damage, mark. Increases damage per hit. Draw a card. Okay. Other thing to check. Lose an HP at the start of its turn. I wonder if that's permanent. It might be. Okay, shoot that guy and then just deflect. Do I adrenaline? You know what? Why not? It'll hurt him for now, but it worked out for this round. Okay, monster cards. The cards that monsters are going to cast are hidden by default. The sight effect will reveal cards, allowing you to plan your movements. Okay, but I got a healer. Okay, ow. Since I mentioned earlier, I hardly have the time to watch Wander Live because of time zones. Now I have a Twitch sub, but there's also a YouTube Patreon thing going on. Since I watch 99% of YouTube's or Wander's content on YouTube, which of the three helps Wander the most? And which is the most beneficial to you? Um, realistically, most beneficial to you would probably be Patreon, but it's a bit of a gamble because I don't actually... I'm very bad at maintaining my Patreon. Flip side, uh, I actually have, have given Shell the task of managing my Patreon instead. Uh, which hopefully will mean that Patreon will start becoming a thing. Twitch would be the next most helpful, just because the more Twitch subs I have, uh, the more emote slots I get, which means, you know, just shinies to hand out to viewers. Uh, and then after that would be YouTube supporters. I try to divvy out the rewards about equally, but it is difficult. Uh, let's see. I don't know. I, that's that's about a, the short version I'm going to be able to do for now. Okay. I'm probably just going to want to delete this guy. What does this do? Okay. Grant Energize. Who do I give it to? I'll give it to him. Offset his issues. Set that on fire. And I believe Leftover Energy carries over. Question mark. So heal, but apply wet. Oh. Draw one heal. Heal more. So I, I should have actually given this guy way better healing. Oh, that heals everyone. Oh, that's... Uh, it's okay. I'll be fine. Oh, grant shield. I'll just have him do that. And then hit that guy. Man, Priest actually has got some options here. Okay. Now, can I mark? No. But I can rupture. And slow him down. Oh, that's front monster. I guess let's just kill him. I should probably also turn those sound effects back up because I turned them way down. Trace. Look for, discard any of them. Uh, okay, it didn't really help me. I don't want to resign. I want to turn up the sound effects a bit. I turned it down, and apparently that was too much. So draw one, gain energy. Make him vulnerable. And what does vulnerable do? Ah, it reduces resistances. Okay, and that is way too loud. Okay. Transmission, mana gem, gain energy. Let's just set him on fire. That kills him. Perfect. Okay. During your adventures, you will discover new cards. To unlock any card shown by a lock, you must get a copy of it. Remember, you will only be able to craft, unlock, 
unlocked cards. Okay. Shield Bash. Ooh, that's a good one. Performance. Okay, so I choose one or shards. I'm big on Shield Bash. Let's see. Fireball. What's that? Shadow Damage. Taken plus one for three charges. Upon reaching 18 charges, explodes. That's good. It is a shadow spell. Does apply to sight. Bad augury. Okay. I I guess that does in fact unlock them. Now I was gonna I was gonna go here. Oh, event rolls. Some options will force you to roll in order to determine the results of an action. Every character will use cards from their own deck. Cool. Um, uh-oh. Okay, there we go. The Baker's son. When you get to the center of the farm, a man dressed as a baker comes out of the mill and greets you. Hello, adventurers. By any chance, does your path take you to the old forest? My son is missing. He likes to play in the forest arch. But he didn't... He did not return yesterday. I'd be very grateful if you could go look for him. You can have these coins in advance. The baker seems very desperate. Maybe you can get something more out of him. Eh. Extortion sounds rude. Okay. Obelisk corruption. The obelisk's influence is corrupting the monsters of this area. You can choose to fight them under the effects of the corruption and in increase the difficulty and gain an additional reward. Monsters gain extra damage resistance, and heroes suffer 9 Sanctity. Oh. But we'll be able to remove one card for free from the deck. Let's give it a shot. I don't actually care if I win or lose on this one, but I really, really like it so far, and I love the idea of playing this multiplayer. As kind of like a deck builder fun thing with my friends. Okay, so we can grant, but I think what I'm going to do is just shield bash. And we're going to intercept. For the priest and her. Okay, so we have adrenaline, aim shot, trace. Let's start with trace. Get rid of those. Slice is okay, but I don't care that much. Go for a deflect. Get another deflect. Armor the heck up. Okay, and I've still got four armor. Do I want to hit Corn Boy? Or do I really want to just roll through Front Dude? Let's just, uh, let's put holes into him. Let's see, Wonder, did you play Balan Wonderworld, or Wonderland earlier? I, I did. It was... It was a drug trip of the game. I don't know how to describe it in any other way. Charge battery, gain extra energy charge at the start of the turn. Lightning damage, taken. Okay. Okay. So she's got three. So let's do Frostbolt. I'm just going to do horrid things to him. Load her up. Okay. Bad Augur. Yeah, different enemies. I'm going to do Sight too, so I always know what he's going to do. Not that I can really counter too much. Okay, that's a little pricier than I want it to be. I'm just going to keep wailing on the front guy. Because, yeah, they heal every time they hit me, up to a certain point. Oh. It also looks like we're kind of limited on our energy here. Okay, so if I do fast strike and then rend this guy... 
Do I know what wet does? Makes them take more damage from electricity or even spread the electricity? I forget exactly. Whoa, hi. Sheep, main stats. There's a lot of information here. I... It's a bit clunky and a little weird, but I'm actually really digging this. Eh, let's just do it. Okay, so chill increases cold damage taken, right? Plus one for every three charges. Okay, let's do that so he bleeds out. Unless he gets uh, healed up, but I don't know. Let's figure out what he's going to do. Nothing soon. I don't want to do healing rain. So wet... Prevents one burn per charge and increases lightning damage taken. So I've got four. So let's do flash heal. Regular heal. And a barrier. Okay, so he's going to bleed to death. We don't know what that one's going to do. And he's doing water spray. Water spray random hero. Okay, aim shot. Oh, adrenaline. Aim shot. There we go. Now I've got enough energy for this. It seems like it would work better multiplayer than solo. I think it works fine solo, but... Let's see. All heroes grant armor. Oh, that's actually really nice. I'll keep that in mind. going to grant him some extra energy. And we're just going to keep toasting this guy, because I think we do extra damage. But yeah, having, having one person cover each character would at the very least mean you know exactly what they're going to do. How is he not... Oh, right, because he hasn't actually had his turn. Uh... Bear yourself. We have a smite. Let's go for the flash heal. Okay. And we can't heal again. Bye. There we got. Trace? Sure. Who do I give it to? Let's give it to him. Let's get rid of those. I don't think we need them. Okay, so I got four energy. Do I start bleeding? I'll pelt him, and then I guess we have to bleed the sheep no matter what. I could have waited. Okay, intercept for her. Him. He has fast. Now we got... We could do shield bash, or I could do a rend and a defense. Let's do Rend and then Defend. Shield Bash is good, but the Bleed does way more damage. What's he doing? Ah. So do we... Probably just delete that guy. And then charge battery a bunch. Now I know what you're going to do. It won't work. I'll go for the light heal. Uh, let's see, who needs some shields? Probably her. And then flash the sheep. Did I turn this on turbo mode? I did turn this on fast mode. Oi. Uh, let's turn on auto just for the sake of it. Okay. Do we actually want to do slicing as we've got the aim shot and the sheep is done? Why am I fighting sheep? Question mark? Alright. Rampage. Deal 15 damage. Repeat. Deal 49 damage. Apply... Crack. Okay. So if it's got the little pip, it's upgraded. Curse of Elements. Deal shadow damage. Apply burn, chill, and spark. That one seems kind of fun.
give him that. Uh, let's see. That requires stealth, which we're not doing. Seven damage, repeat two, maybe. I love the idea of Skull Splitter, but I don't think I want it. So let's go Rampage, Curse of Elements, and then skip these. This does do poison. I'm actually going to grab the poison. That sounds kind of fun. All right, now I can remove cards. Okay. Remove a slice. Remove a... This one's tough. I don't know which one I want to get rid of. It's almost tempting to get rid of a Frostbolt. And a flash. Minimum cards in deck. Oh, good to know. Alright, so that's where I was. We now go to Crossroad. New recruits. You've reached a crossroad. To the north path to the north, the path leads to an old watchtower. To the south, the path leads you to the bridges that cross the river. The northern path appears to be blocked by a pig man with a brand on his arm, trying to recruit others for what appears to be a cult or a sex. If you want to go north, you'll have to deal with them. I'll scare them pretending to be a savage werewolf. He just has to draw larger than one. Defend. Fail. Oh. Shoot. We now have an itchy burn injury. And we have to fight the pigmen. Stupid pig cult. I Why did I intercept self? Whatever. It's fine. There's also a demon in there. Let's deflect Poison Dart. Okay, and then I've got four. Let's honestly just rupture the heck out of this pig. Ouch. These guys seem a little bit... a little spookier. Okay. That's shield and insulate. Oh, which gives heavy elemental resistances. I like. Transmission on him, because he seems to do tons of damage. Hit him for free. I'm just going to keep buffing up the healer, because he's, he's taking some damage. Do a healing rain, which might have actually just get, gotten rid of the fire. Okay, damage and healing done, plus one per charge, heal received. Okay, I like this. Uh, smite that guy, heal self. And then we'll just wait. Alright, hit the deflect. We do have Hunter's Mark. But I think... Oh, he didn't die. It's fine. Race. He's next. Let's see what he's got. Rampage, Enrage, Shield Bash. Let's get rid of the Fast Strike. I don't think he needs it. And then just slice for damage. Okay, let's go for the Enrage. We're, we've got some big moves I want to do. So you can do Shield Bash, Rampage, or Rend. Nah. That's some good damage. So is the combat like Gordian Quest, but on a single lane? Yeah, kind of. Ooh. So they set themselves on fire, but it's a that's a good heal. Okay, use the mana gem. Still got three. Okay, bad augury. Hit him with that. Give her a barrier. Okay, we got another heal. Yeah, let's go for the heal on her. Okay, 
Poison Dart Slice, which should kill him. Hunter's Mark and a Rupture. I usually just kind of plow into whoever's in front. And it has yet to actually hold me back too bad. Let's just do a barricade. These guys kind of hurt. I made the right choice. The bird chirping is turning you off the game. Can I turn off ambience? There we go. Done. Okay, let's give him some extra energy. And then hit him with a shadow bolt. And a frost? No. Do we have rain? No. figure out what he's going to do. Nobody's really injured here. And we got a little bit. Should have probably done a holy smite, but alas. Okay, deflect. Adrenaline. I got seven energy. Ooh, boy. Oh, I should have done the slice first. That way I could have ruptured him. It's fine. It's fine. Why did I do that? I don't necessarily know. Well, he's healing himself and setting himself on fire. Oh. There's also a performance bonus based on how quickly we killed them. Unfortunately, I've been getting mostly defensive cards. But I love the fact that I can do this. Please die. Okay, let's get rid of those. Deflect. Hit him with poison. I get one hit that will kill. Thank you. Rampage. Idunski. It's satisfactory. Buff. Front, front monster. Draw one. Deal three damage. That's not terrible. Brain apply that. Life tap. Lose eight HP. Ugh. Ooh. Grant two bless. Heal four. I like Benediction. I kind of like Curse of Elements, but I think I'm just going to go for that. Ice Shot, Fire Shot, or another Rupture. Those are poi those Those are pricey. Huh. Yeah, the stats are actually pretty randomly generated here. Because we have two different buff cards that do wildly different things. I'll grab this one for being free, and let's just go for shards. Okay, bridge path. The jeweler. At the entrance to the bridge, you see a jewelry merchant. When you approach, he says, Hello, adventurers. Would you like to take a look at my products? I also have two specials for today. The first is a set of four exquisite magic rings that I made recently. They're yours for 600 gold. Only if you buy all four. The second is an unidentified magic ring. It's yours for 250 gold. To know what it does, you'll have to equip it when you buy it. Okay. Well, I have 554 gold. Let's browse his regular goods, see if he has anything amazing. Combat start, gain extra vitality, resistances, cool. When you die, retain gold and shards. Interesting. I'm curious about the piggy bank, but I'm not going to bother. Let's see, Riverside Camp, or... Let's go to the Riverside Camp. You arrive at a camp near the river. You see a strange humanoid figure looking at the horizon, and even when it's not yet night, you can see the stars reflected in its black eyes. His black eyes. You've heard rumors about the strange tall race of humanoids whose heads resemble a squid. 
The rumors say they possess the ability to see the future and make accurate predictions. Your presence in the camp doesn't seem to bother him. You can rest a bit in the camp or try to pay him some coins to get a divination from him. Well... Restore health? No. Great divination. Group lower than five. Eh, fast divination. Let's see what happens. Your fates are sealed. Oh. That's different. Okay. Requires stanzas. So you can do bard. All monsters. Poison water? Or poison is shot for a little bit more. Let's go for... Let's go for toxic rain. That sounds fun. Bio Lance, apply shadow, apply dark, poison. Okay, I like Vile Lance. Let's probably just skip those, grab the shards, see if we can upgrade something. Isolated Chapel, the Scared Pig Man. You enter a small chapel near the forest border. It appears to have been recently looted. You hear a noise behind some benches, and then a trembling voice says, Oink. Are they gone? Oink. Yager wants to eat me. He sends his werewolves for me, please. Please, oink, help, help me. Defeat Yager so I can leave this chapel. I'm a very capable priest, oink. And I'll help you in your future travels. The scared pigman is dressed as a priest. Sure. Yager is a big werewolf. The leader of the bandits, oink. He'll be in the northern part of the forest at the bandit camp. I have some things here. The, the werewolves didn't find. Take what you need. Thank you. Make sure you take the road that leads to the north through the forest border. Oh. Okay. Health potion. Every three turns, recover eight HP. That's insanely good. Obviously, I'll have to pick, pick a character here. So we could also go for the silver chalice, which just increases healing done. He doesn't have a weapon, period. So the question is, do I want the healing potion, or... Now let's give him the silver chalice. Oh! Do we get mo more? How do I... Or... Oh, each character gets to get one. That makes sense. There we go. So there's the bandit camp. So we've got to go straight up. But that was my plan anyway. Party, we gain stuff. Ironclad. All monsters gain resistances, defense, and armor. That's fine. I can do this. Oh, that's... they're pretty. I like that. Okay, we start on fire, but it is fine. So he's got four. Rend. Whammo. We get poison darts. Poison the back out of the back... Uh, poison the heck out of the back line. Okay. Let's get rid of Adrenaline, because I don't think it's going to help me too much. So this group seems like it might be a little spookier. Like a lot spooky. We'll see how this goes. Okay, so what do we got? Charge battery. Do I pop the mana gem? I don't think I need to. So let's frostbolt him. And then charge battery on the middle one. Mainly because lightning does... Yeah, four, uh, four lightning, two target sides at the start of his turn. 
And then we got hit kind of a fair bit. Okay, Benediction. Damage done and heal done, plus one per charge. Healing received, plus one per charge. All right, so I'm going to beef him up a bit. Go for the healing rain, seeing as I've taken more damage. There's not really much of a point to that, is there? Okay, buff. So because I blessed this guy, he just straight up is going to heal more and take more damage. It looks like it might deplete on a round-by-round -round basis, though, so I can't really stack it that hard. There's so many deck builder games after I slay the spire. Because it's such a simple formula that works so incredibly well. Okay. But it really matters too much. We just don't know who he's going to be wailing on. Alright. So let's do a barrier, a flash heal another barrier on self. Because these guys don't do that much damage. But that's okay. That's a lot of bleed just bouncing around there. Rude. Just hope something new can top slay this player. I think Monster Train comes, comes close. Hey, Monster Train is definitely a fantastic product. I think, I don't really know which I would judge as quote-unquote superior. Oh wow, they have mad armor. This does nothing to them. Glad I've specced slightly into status effects. Okay, aim shot or rupture. It's gonna do five. Well, I don't have much of a choice. Okay, we've got Enrage. Let's do Piercing Howl to start with. Enrage doesn't give me anything terribly exciting, tragically. Barricade and try and kill. Yes! Nowhere are we going to get good performance on this one. We'll get satisfactory, but I uh, don't... Uh. Way different from Slay the Spire anyway. It's very similar on a per-character basis to some degree, but... Boy, howdy. Just to heal her up, I guess. Oof. We even got regeneration. This is a tough, tough group. Okay. Give her that. So what's he have? He has reinforced, which prevents most damage. Oh, and they got rid of their status effects. Rude. Okay. Well, when in doubt, wail on the boss. So here's the question. Do we... I've done Hunter's Mark. Let's just do a Rupture and a Slice, because that'll do bonus damage. I'm not going to bother with the Adrenaline, though I could have. Okay, he's got three. Let's go for these two. six times. It really set them on fire. We need that rain move to come back. Okay. Give my dude some elemental resistance. Pop the mana gem. Just because. 14 damage. Is it dead? No. Now it should die in its turn. Oh! I forgot. Regen takes precedence. Of course. I'm in a bad way. Uh, 
Let's just heal him. Yeah, we're getting clobbered a bit. These status effects are brutal. Okay, I got four. We're just going for the kill. I was going to use status effects to wipe him out, but no dice. Who's next? Yeah. Okay, burn his blocks. Do a piercing howl. It is... This is not a friendly round. These guys are a very hard counter to what I've got. But I think they'd be a hard counter to almost anyone. Given what I'm dealing with here. Let's see. Just, it's so much. It's so much healing. Uh, I, she's dying. Now let's just end turn. Keep his energy. I don't have to spend it every round. If I don't want to. Let's do a rupture and a slice. Go for a buff. Intercept on self. Barricade. And just a regular hit. I just... The fact that my enemies can also take two actions is just rough. What's below underwhelming? Dreadful. Get nothing. Probably just gonna keep energizing him. Oh, maybe I should have actually energized the priest. Okay, bad auger. Nah, barrier. Oh, we still can do bad auger. That's good. Yeah, definitely would want to do this with friends. I think it would be a much smoother experience. Okay, let's pop adrenaline. Okay. Burn those. I'm very much on fire. Intercept self. Defend self. Rend. Please, for the love of everything, die. Nope! Of course not! Hey, Rhapsody! Thanks for the 10 month resub. Wait, this is multiplayer? It is, in fact. Uh, so, I believe the way it works is every single player gets to play as uh, one of the different characters. Each character has their own Slay the Spire style hand. Uh, let's see. I'm getting clobbered. I need help. Okay, it's just her, though. Well, one option we do have... Wait, no. Shit, I forgot. She's actually the most dangerous enemy in this group. I might be able to heal anyway... We'll see. But I I love the idea of this being, you know, full multiplayer. It's a little sluggish, because it really does feel like every fight is four Slay the Spire's fights going on at the same time. Like, the pacing is a little... Eh? But I think that would be heavily mitigated by the fact that I would be playing with friends and could make dumb jokes about losing or winning. 
I got absolutely toasted here. So on fire. Die. I get nothing. Combat performance is dreadful. Don't judge me. Uh oh. End of demo. Oh. Alright. Final game will have four acts, more heroes to unlock, more events, more items, different kinds of nodes, and more. Now you'll get a reward uh now you'll get a reward and you can try the demo again, craft something in town, and try a different path. Oh. Alright. So I've unlocked a whole bunch of cards. Characters level up, we get perk points. Game reward. Cool. How do I spend? Is it a Tome of Knowledge thing? I don't know. It seems like it's got a lot of the stuff that I'm looking for. Obviously, my base impressions here are a little rough. Uh, just because I got clobbered by a heal group of enemies. But I'm sure it seems like there's kind of a heavy meta progression here. Both in terms of unlocks and perk points. And some other stuff. So maybe it's one of those that you do a couple runs and then you snowball enough. That you can just punch your way through. Or I just had a really bad matchup there and those healers were just rough. I don't know. But yeah, interesting. Very interesting. I I would love to drag... Uh, huh. We could almost do... Oh, I don't know. That would be tough. I don't know. You, me, and Rito at the very least and then grab somebody else as a fourth. <laughs> or just uh, all share duty on, a, uh, on the healer. I don't know. But I love the idea of it. It's... An easy way to take a tried and true method that other people have tri have developed and then just make it slightly unique by more or less giving it to a bunch of other characters. Or characters, a bunch of other players. I cannot word, I am very tired. Uh, that, you know, even if it ends up being sub -slay the Spire, I get to play it with friends, which suddenly makes it a lot more attractive. I don't know. Anywho, with all this said, I've got other games to play.